All right, it's shard pull time. This guy is not only is it two times sacred, but it's ten times this lovely fellow, who is of course one of the character design um, contest win the winner from a character design competition that they did. Super freaking cool. They always do such a good job. I'm just gonna quickly take a look. We got poisons. Oh wait, no, it's increasing the duration of all poison debuffs on the target by one turn. Heals the heals the champion by two point five percent of their max HP for each poison debuff on the target. A two attacks one enemy, places an extra hit for each poison debuff on the target, up to three extra hits. So we got a four hit around the A two when there's a lot of poisons going on, and then A three AOE. Damage increases according to the number of poison debuffs on each target, and it's a max HP ability. I'm definitely curious to see how much how hard he gets. I have personally not watched him in action yet, something I actually probably should do. And then the resistance or the, the resistance. The passive here places four poison debuffs on all enemies for two turns at the start of each round. Has a 50% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on all enemies for one turn at the start of each turn. Whenever an enemy places a poison debuff on this champion, instantly removes it and replaces it with a 15% continuous heal for buff for two turns instead. So he cannot be poisoned. Super freaking cool. Um, but honestly, I'm more. In, I'm obviously interested in the poisons. I have Zavia. I have four Zavias. We can make. I think he'd be a fun addition with a poison t focus team. We'll see. And he does have a aura, 19% in all battles, which is the same as like Duchess Manaya. So that's helpful. <laughs> he hits like a butter knife. Oh no. Carrots. Poisons are what's fun anyway. But that is weird that it's not. Oh well. Alrighty. We're gonna pull my five sacreds. I mean, it's two times sacreds I was gonna pull anyway. Just because, but why not get... So the reason, I mean, it's not like he's the most game-changing, wonderful champ in the world. Um, but he's not a dupe, for one. More than likely, I'm just gonna get a freaking Fitz Zavia. <laughs> so, why the hell not go for a ten times when there's actually something I do not have? And who's a freaking cool champion. I mean, I don't know. I'll try him. I'll play with him. He seems like he's worth building. Let's go. Wish me luck. Stagnite. Great pull if I didn't already have him. I guess I gotta keep a dupe Stagnite around anyway, right? <laughs> dupe system. Thank gosh we're getting more storage. Oh hey, it's our friend Geomancer, another fantastic epic. I've got multiple of him lately as well. I believe my Geomancer is fully booked, so unfortunately that's probably just a side piece for the dupe system or or uh, a chicken. But a really great champion. Finally got him going and he's definitely fun to play with. Super helpful. Fenex, definitely don't need another Fenex. I don't really find too much use for him on my account. I did use him in Faction Wars at one point, but early on. He, he does have the block buffs, which is really great if you're going against the Valk waves. And he does pair with Talia, but eh. I have seen him in part of some clan boss teams just for his pure damage. He does hit it really hard. Yeah, I skull him. Exactly, there we go. Skull Crusher with- I mean- these epics are fantastic. These epics are really fantastic. <laughs> Skull Crusher, one of the only three counterattack champions still in the game. So crazy that they haven't added more. With how many champions they've added, not a single other counterattack champion. But I don't need another Skull Crusher. I only got one more. Ugh. I'm not getting a legendary, am I? I'm sad. No Lego at all. Come on. It's only five. I can't be that. But again, another amazing epic. She's super helpful if you're stuck in Faction Wars for dwarves. Epic Reviver. Great if you don't have a Molly. Super great for support as well. Ah, Oops. I always do that. I always click like into here when I'm looking at stuff. 
I mean, I have a Melga that is never going to be built, probably, because I don't really have much use for her when I already have Molly built and I've already beat Faction Wars. Ah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> if that was like an early or mid-game account, that could have been an amazing day for someone. But I've been playing for two and a half years, so... Dupe City. 